Their new destination is northern Tanzania to discover the youngest volcano in this region, Oldoño Langai. Lost and isolated at the far end of the African Rift, 99 miles from Kilimanjaro. Tanzania is the land of the Maasai, wild animals and volcanoes, a country that alone brings together some of the most beautiful images of Africa. Numerous volcanoes line the huge fracture line of the Great African Rift that started to open up 30 million years ago and that runs for a distance of 4,700 miles across Africa. The group has to drive for a whole day at the bottom of this huge trench to reach the foot of Langai. These white flows are in fact lava flows from the crater. This lava is unique, just like Langai, which is unlike any other volcano in the world. Have you got everything? Got water? In the tents, sleeping bags, the gas masks? The porters are coming. Ol Doño Lengai. It's the most extraordinary volcano on the planet. I won't tell you any more for now. It's unique. But we'll talk when we're at the summit. Let's go. There are not many people going up. We won't be bothered by tourists up at the summit. Climbing Mengai is considered to be especially difficult because of the height difference of more than 6,500 feet and its very steep slopes. It usually requires a seven-hour trek. Grab a hold of the fracture. The fracture's holding up well. Wow! Only eight meters to go. Ground is hot. Oh, come on. Uh, the mountain of the black god, Odonio Lengai. 2,877 meters high. You feel it? It's colder here. Before, it was necessary to descend about 300 feet to reach the bottom of the crater. But now, it's full to the brim with the cool lava flows that have piled up on top of each other. We'll see if there's any activity over there, on the ridges. Up there, as soon as we get past the first ridges, be careful. They're dangerous fractures. You have to be really careful. We never. Oh, oh, listen, can you hear? C can everyone hear that? I can hear it. Careful. At the top of the fracture, be very careful. 
The ground you're walking on is lava. It's not the lava you're used to seeing. Here, it's called natrocarbonatite. So what's natrocarbonatite? It's a magmatic limestone rich in calcium, rich in sodium, and rich in carbon. Imagine this lava flowing like water. See that lava? When it flows, it's black, very black. If it rains three hours later, it's as white as snow. If it doesn't rain, just with humidity from the air, it takes three or four days maximum. Just by the color, you can tell if the lava is two or three days old. It's the only volcano in the world that gives off that type of lava. Listen, listen. There is blue smoke. You hear that? There is blue smoke that wasn't there earlier. Did you hear that? The explosion of the lava. There's lava behind there for sure. At least you can feel the volcano is alive here. It's impressive because you can't see, but you can hear. That love is recent. It's two, three days old. Leave space between you. Those ejections are very recent, and there's activity back there. Leave space between you. The lava is about 25 feet below them, but they can't see it. They're walking on a dome, shaken by the churning magma below. It's really dangerous here. It's over there. I can see it. You know, we're really lucky because there hasn't been any activity here for four months. Four days ago, a pilot told us he'd seen activity. And look. Did you see that? <laughs> wow. It's extraordinary. It's fantastic. They've seen the lava, but the coming night prevents Guy from checking on its outflows and the fragility of the terrain. Lengai, a very young volcano, is the only active one in the whole region, unique and unpredictable. It's an enigma for the world's volcanologists.